What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming with I'm coming to you with a double haul. Um I stopped by a thrift store local to where my mom lives, um, in a little small town that she lives in. But it's mostly like a mission type thrift store, so everything in there is stupid cheap. And I also stopped by Dollar Tree because I was looking for the nail glue, which they unfortunately did not have. Um, I didn't even see a spot for it. So um, it looks like maybe they didn't get it or they don't have it right now, um, but that's okay. I will look at another dollar store um, later on another, at another time. So I'm gonna give y'all the thrift store haul first because I want y'all to stick around for the Dollar Tree haul. So let me move my bags around. <laughs> This, that one bag is heavy. So, I'm going to show y'all what I got at the thrift store real quick. Um, I'm going to try to go through it super fast because I know there's people that's not really interested in that kind of thing. Um, if you're not interested in the amazing deals that I got at this thrift store, then I will put a timestamp on here somewhere to let you know when you can fast forward to the Dollar Tree haul. So, the first thing I picked up, and I'm looking at the, like, y'all, before I begin, though, I was looking at the receipt. Um, everything in this order, everything I picked up, I think, I don't even think she rung up everything, y'all. But I want y'all to see that total at the bottom. Did y'all see that total? Did y'all see the total? $16.59 for what I got. And like I said, I don't think, even think she rung everything up. Unless she was like combining like a dollar for this and a dollar that and just rung it up as two dollars. So, I'm going to show you what I got. Um, so the first thing I picked up is I am going to start reading more. Like reading actual books more. I don't want to sit on the couch at night whether I'm waiting on Abby to go to sleep or something. I don't want to sit on the couch at night and just scroll my phone. I want to do something more productive. So, I did pick up a book. It was kind of sitting out on the table, um, so it was kind of like, it was pretty noticeable. So I picked it up and looked at the synopsis of it and put it back down. And then I kind of walked around a few more minutes, but then I came back to it. And this is from an author called Barbara Delinsky. It's called Before and, Af Before and Again. Um, I'm trying to see when this was published. This was published in... I don't know if it's going to tell me on another page, maybe. <laughs> Always trying to look at when those um, published dates were. So this was published, it looks like. Um, I'm looking for a date. I don't, oh, uh, first edition was June 2018. But just to give you a quick synopsis, um, I'm going to put this up on the screen so you can, if you want to pause it, you can kind of read the blurb about it. Um, hopefully the sun is not being too annoying. Um, but it just starts out, it says, Mackenzie Cooper took her eyes off the road for just a moment, but the resulting collision was enough to rob her, not only of her beloved daughter, but ultimately of her marriage, family, and friends. And thanks to the non-stop media coverage, even her privacy, now she lives in Vermont under the name Maggie Reed in a small house with her cats and dog. She's thankful for the new friends she's made, though she can't risk telling them too much. And she takes satisfaction in working as a makeup artist as a, at the luxurious local spa, helping clients hide the visible outward signs of their weariness, illnesses, and injuries. Covering up scars is a skill she has mastered. Her only goal is to stay under the radar and make it through her remaining probation. But she isn't the only one in this peaceful town with secrets. When a friend's teenage son is thrust into the national spotlight accused of hacking a powerful man's Twitter account, Maggie is torn between pulling away and protecting herself or stepping into the glare to be there at their side. As the stunning truth behind their case is slowly revealed, Maggie's own carefully constructed story also begins to unravel. She knows all too well that what we need from one another in this difficult world is comfort. But to provide it, sometimes we need to travel far outside our own comfort zone. So, seems like an interesting read. So, I am going to um, start on that, even though I have 50,000 books at home, TBR. 
Um, I did pick up a couple items of clothing for my mom, um, because she needs some new clothes. Um, and I need to change her out of the ones that she is constantly wearing. So, I picked her up a cute little, like, salmon-colored short sleeve shirt. This is a large from St. John's Bay. Nothing too fancy, just a basic, just a basic short sleeve shirt. Um, a little nice, thick cotton material. And then because she likes to, because she is in her 70s, she's always cold for some reason. And so I picked her up a pink shirt that was, um, it's like a three quarter sleeve. Um, and I picked this up in a medium because I'm not entirely sure what her size is. Um, so just a cute little pink shirt. This is from Blair is the name. I don't know if y'all can see that. I can't see nothing. I'm, I'm getting a lot of glare from the sun in my eyes, so I can't see. But anyway, just a cute little pink shirt. Um, and I did pick up her a couple pairs of jeans also. Um, but I'm going to show those here in a minute. Um, I found these cute shoes. I did find me a couple pairs of shoes. Um, I found these cute little, um, I'm guessing they're faux leather. Um, they're a six. Please tell me they're not a six. Because I just noticed there are... Um, there's numbers on the back of it. And usually when it's like that, I don't know if you can see it, it's like right there. Um, usually when the line is at the bottom, that's the bottom of the thing. But I tried these on in the store with my sock, with my thick Timu socks on and they fit. So, but I found these, they, they look, they don't look like a six y'all. Um, but I picked these up and I did like these because... Um, if you've been with my channel for a while, you know, you may have heard me talk about my feet and how they're already flat as it is. Um, and then because I have some, um, reflux in my veins, um, on one side, like on my right side here, um, my foot is a little bit more, my foot on my right side is a little bit more swollen up than my left side. And I think that's probably why I have more issues with sleeves in my rings on this side as well but um pick these up because the toe part it does not it, it it's kind of short um it doesn't come up real high so it fits on my foot really well like it doesn't it doesn't cut into where the um the swollenness on my foot is so i thought i picked these up i thought they were really cute thought they would be nice for like if I want to dress up or something um just just in case I want to dress nice you know um and then I guess I should, could show you the other pair of shoes huh and I also found these um <laughs> these were some really bright light like neon lime green flip-flop shoes um and they have the fur right there and I did see that these are like a size 9 10 um, one of them still has a tag on it. Yeah, this one still has a tag on it. Um, and it, it does say 910 large, but I think the, with the way my feet are, I think these, and I did kind of try to try these on with my socks on. And I think this right here, this is plenty big enough to fit over my foot. Um, so I think these would be really good. Like if I just need to walk out into the yard for something or I don't know. I'm slumming it one day and I just want to throw on a quick pair of shoes and head up to the store or something. I don't know. Um, and then I found this cute little plastic cup. Um, just Minnie Mouse cup. This is right up Abby's alley. Just a cute little Minnie Mouse cup. And I do have like a little silicone cover I can put on it too. Um, in case I want her to drink it like with a straw. But I am trying my best to put more, a little bit more trust in her sometimes to drink out of a regular cup she can um but she's not perfect at it she still likes to just like move it all around and she hasn't yet really got that concept that you have to set cups down carefully or they'll spill but yeah just really cute Minnie mouse cup i'm sure this wasn't knowing them this might have been a quarter um but they didn't really have prices on anything um, I just know that out of everything that I got, I only paid $16.59, so I was super thrilled about that. Um, so, two items that I'm not entirely sure I'm going to keep. 
I may see what they're going for on eBay and try to resell them. But the first one, uh, I did get a couple purses. Um, and this one is really nice. Um, this one is just a leather, it's a nice leather bag. Um, and it looks like it's from the brand Bueno. Never heard of it. I did try to look it up. Um, if anybody has heard of this brand, let me know. Um, this is a double, double compartment purse. Um, and then you've also got more compartment there, another compartment there. You've got a compartment on each side. Um, pockets everywhere. Um, just all kind of, um, you've got, a uh, what, uh, what does she call it? Hey, everybody. She calls them slip pockets. So they're just, just a little interior pocket there. Really nice bag. It's that soft leather. It's in really good condition. Um, it would make a really good crossbody bag, um, for like everyday use. Um, and these, they did have the sign on there. It says purses $2 and up. So I'm pretty sure that both of these purses I bought were $2. So $2 for this. You can't beat it guys. You can't beat it. Especially in this an amazing condition. But the other purse. The other purse is where it's at y'all. I'm really proud of this one. <laughs> um, this is a fossil brand purse. And it is also in pretty good condition. It's not perfect. Um, it does have some wear like on the, the back where they could tell where it may have rubbed up against their clothing and whatnot. Um, but it's also in pretty good condition. Has a, has the strap. Um, and these metal things right here, these are pretty, pretty sure these are actual, like, steel. Um, because they are heavy. Um, just a really cute fossil purse. Um, and then it has the amazing printed interior love that and then you can see it has the where is it at the fossil fossil patch um and has a zippered pocket here on this side it has two um couple slip pockets on the front side inside um nothing too nothing too crazy um i am very self <laughs> nothing too crazy but a really pretty bag um i was trying to do uh, some searching on eBay, um, and it's got this cute key right here. Um, really cute. Um, I actually picked this up for myself, but I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not because I all have I have all those all those purses that I bought from Timu. But I did try to do a little bit of searching online when I was in there. Unfortunately, I couldn't come up with a lot because the signal was crap. I was only getting like one bar. Um, but I'm going to do some more looking up. Um, I want to do some more research when I get home. Um, and like I said, I did pick up a couple pairs of jeans. You're not really going to be able to see them. Um, I just picked her up a couple pairs of jeans and one for me. Um, nothing spectacular. Um, I'm not going to bother showing y'all those because, um, you're not going to be able to see them because I'm y'all right up here on me. But that was pretty much it. That's all I got. Um, just go around. But yeah, $16.59. I can't even believe that. And I think the jeans were $2.75 each or they were supposed to be. But, um, I only see one, uh, I only see two items that are rung up at $2.75. Um, so... I don't know if she forgot to ring one of the pants up or maybe they were $2 instead of $2.75. I don't know, but I got out really, really cheap there and I'm so happy. I spent a third of the price that I did at the dollar store because my, my total at the dollar store was I think 40 something dollars, almost $50. So um, that's bad when you get out cheaper at a thrift store than you do the dollar store. But, I'm going to show you the stuff from the dollar store now. Um, so, if you've been skipping past, this is your sign. 
this is yeah, this is your dollar store sign. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna try to show you everything I got. I got when I went in in here, y'all. I just picked up one of their little hand baskets. I was not expecting to come out with as much as I did, and but I'm not I'm not mad about it. Um, so luckily I didn't pick up a lot of food items. That was that was key. <laughs> so oh my goodness, it's everywhere. Okay. So I'm gonna show you the, the Dollar Tree total was forty eight dollars and forty nine cents. So that's what I got. Um, first off, we are going to. I'm, I'm not going to go in any particular order, guys, because it's just all thrown in here. Um, I did pick up three boxes, three boxes of tissues. Um, two like this, and then I picked up one Barbie one because I like to keep one of these in each of our bathrooms and in her room in case she needs to blow her nose. Um, but I, I do keep them on top of her dresser or she can't really reach them. <laughs> they're, they're on the side of her dresser. So if she absolutely positively needs to get one, she can find a way to get it down. But anyway, um, just picked up a couple boxes of these. Um, this one is going in the main bathroom where I get ready at, and this was is going in our half bath. Nothing. This one feels a little heavier. This one is 85. And this one is 74. These are scented, apparently. Did not notice they were scented, but they are. Um, so I picked those up. Um, are these scented? No, these these aren't scented. The Barbie ones are not scented. Um, I was torn between the Barbie ones and the Cocomel ones because even though she doesn't really watch Cocomel anymore. She is very familiar with them. Um, and if she saw them, she'd be like, JJ! But I was like, nah, I'm gonna get a Barbie one. So, pick those up. And then I went a little crazy on the drink mix stuff. Um, we got some A&W um, flavor packets. Um, I'm not a root beer person, but Andy is thought he might like to try those and see if they're any good um and then i also picked up not one but two boxes of the dole strawberry pineapple um i loved i do like these dole um flavor packets because they're not overpowering the flavor on them is a little more on the milder side but still very flavorful so they're not as strong as some of these other flavor packets that you get in these sorry about that guys um Apparently my phone got overheated from sitting up in the window, even though I have the air conditioning on, it still gets hot. So it decided it was going to say, uh, oh, I'm not working anymore. I'm not doing anything else until I cool down. So, um, you guys are sitting, um, where I usually keep my phone, like when I'm driving and stuff, um, on my holder, like in front of my air vents and stuff. So the phone is getting the air, but I am not. Um, and hopefully, um, y'all aren't getting too much, like, blowback or anything. But, um, I think I was showing y'all these, and I just got two boxes of these, um, because the, um, the flavoring on the doll ones is really good. It's not super strong. Um, I was snacking while I was waiting for y'all to come back up. <laughs> um... And then I did get some more flavorings. Um, I got one box of the uh, lemon iced tea from Weilers. Um, I only got one box because we can get lemon iced tea in different different things, so I wasn't too much worried about that. Plus, I think we already have a, a bunch at home anyway. Um, and then I picked up two boxes of the peach iced tea. Um, because he did say that he likes this a lot and he wanted me to get some more um, next time I had a chance. Um, and then I picked up one box of the Weiler's Light Strawberry Lemonade. They had a ton of flavors of flavoring at this one and I was happy about that. And then lastly, um, I picked up one box of the Welch's Passion Fruit um, because I've never tried this one before and I'm going to see if it's any good. Um, also picked up a pack of paper plates. 
I don't usually get paper plates all that often, but I, I was thinking that, like, if we ever, like, say, give Abby a sandwich, or maybe one of us makes a sandwich, or hot dogs, or something like that, something where you don't want to dirty up a, an actual plate, um, I pick these up, um, just in case, you know, to have them. So, that's all that box. All that, all of that bag, sorry. Um, I also picked up, I'm drinking on this because it's hot and thirsty. Pick that up. <laughs> Can you tell it was thirsty? Um, I did get some candy. Did get some candy. Um, so I picked up two packs of these natural cravings, yogurt covered blueberries. Um, and while I'm not a fan of actual blueberries, my three year old is, and she loves like chocolate covered raisins and stuff like that. So I thought chocolate covered blueberries, sorry, sorry, yogurt covered blueberries. She's a fan of yogurt covered raisins as well. <laughs> so, yogurt covered blueberries. She is probably going to love these. So, I picked those up for her. And also for her, I picked up some Sour Patch Kids watermelon. Um, I can't remember what kind of those we got last time, but um, I did try one and they aren't, they aren't really that sour. They're just barely, there's just barely a hint of tartness in them, which is really nice because I'm not a fan of tart stuff myself, but she seemed to really like these. She, she went through that whole pack in no time. But I was most excited. Oh, sorry. I'm going to show you these first. Um, I also picked up some Haribo Unicorn, Unicorn Alicious, um, Unicorn Gummies. Also for her. Um, but y'all, I was most excited to find two things. Two things you can find on Timu. But obviously, probably in a smaller size. I don't know. Maybe these are the same size you get on Timu. But on Timu, you have to buy multi packs of them. And I didn't want to buy a multi pack of something that I didn't know if I was going to be able to eat it or not, or if it was any good. And I've seen people try them. So um, I did find um, these peelers, the gummy mangoes. Um, this is a three ounce package, so you can kind of see. So. Um, and then, before, I'm going to try that, but I'm gonna, first I'm going to show y'all. They also have the Amos uh, 4D Fruit Gummy Strawberry Burst. And I think you can find these on Timo as well. But, I'm going to try one of these peeler things to see if they're any good. And I think I saw, like, online, people were looking for them. They look like that. Just a cute little thing. And you're supposed to be able to peel them until like they're a good gummy center. So let me see if I can peel this. Oh you can. It's sort of like it's like a gummy over gummy. It's comparable to a gummy bear. It's like a mango flavored gummy bear. Um, let's see what this part tastes like, the inner part. This is more of like a, <clears throat> this is more of like a jelly gummy. Closer to, like if you ever get those orange slices or something. Um, something like that. Some of them are. It's really good though. But yeah. I'm not, I'm almost there y'all. I'll watch me eat the rest of this. I'm gonna set that there for now. I have a, a, a drink cup in here too. So let's go to try let's try this. See if these are good. They look like little strawberries. Like they're green on the outside and red on the inside. I'll get a little bit more of a 
more farmer gummy. They're good. They're good. Um, and poor Shemai was having a little bit of trouble eating that, so I did have to spit it out. But, um, because eating gummies and stuff is a little tricky for me. But they are good. They're pretty good. Um, and I also found, I, because I'm a sucker for a chocolate covered cherry, they have the five packs of them in the store. Don't know why, but they did. <laughs> um, and I think that might have been all the food that I picked up. I think. So I need to. So, also, um, right at the door where they have like their summer stuff coming out, picked up a watermelon kitchen towel for the summer. And they did have ones that says, Hello, Sweet Summer, or something like that. I try to avoid kitchen towels that have a lot of writing on them. Um, I just like it more aesthetically. Oh my God, does, do I look pink? I feel like I look pink. Um, sorry. Um, found some uh, stickers. If you saw my Timu haul, you heard me talk about how my daughter loves Pete the Cat. Found some Pete the Cat stickers. And it does say reward sticker, so I think we're going to try to use these as reward for her using the potty or possibly eating some dinner. I don't know. Um, but yeah. So, found those. Um, and you heard me say that I went into the dollar store to try to find the nail glue, which I did not find. But I did find a couple of other things. Um, I found a nail stamp. And then they have, a, they had a few different kind of stamp plates. Um, unfortunately they were like at the very top of there. And I was kind of having a little trouble. I, I didn't want to like have to pull each one down individually. So I just kind of grabbed a handful, like a, a, a small stack of them and pulled them off the peg and once I can throw them. And the first, like, three or four had, like, a lot, like, a tiger theme to them, or a jungle theme to them. And they also had this one, which has butterflies on it. So that would be really cute. Um, like, if I paint up a nail, um, to stamp it on, like, in a white or a light pink or something, and, and put it on. And those solid color false nails that you get from Timu or wherever, it doesn't have to be from Timu. A solid color nail, um, false press on nail, makes a great base for um, decorating. Um, again, this, this stuff is in no particular order. Um, I wish I could, but I can't. Um, so I picked up a black, just a solid black head wrap because I want to see if it, if it does any good. Um, because sometimes I just, I don't want to deal with putting my hair back. And I think what, the one that I bought from Timu that one time that I said I didn't like the way it was, I think it was too wide. Um, this one is a little bit thinner. This one is closer to the width of the sweater one that I bought that everybody liked. So, this is just a stretchy cotton. So, I don't know. I don't do good with these headbands because they like to just completely slide off my head. So, I don't know. <laughs> I have my hair in a ponytail, so it probably doesn't really help. I don't know. I can't really tell. I'm, I'm still getting a hell of a glare um, where I can't entirely see what y'all are seeing right now. Um, we'll save that so I can show the other one. Um, picked up some shaving cream because I like this kind. And I'm low. And I found on my way out, I found the Kit Kat, this chocolate frosted donut Kit Kat. And because I'm hungry, I'm going to try this. It's probably guilty getting a little bit melted already. Um, but we're going to try it. 
and I'll just finish eating it. But I'll let y'all go. Yeah, it's already starting to get a little bit melted. So that's what it looks like. Don't come at y'all. Don't come at me, y'all. Um, this is just for um, taste testing purposes. Tastes like a chocolate frosted donut. Pretty good. That there. So that was all of that bag, except for one thing. Oh, no. Sorry. I'm trying to put stuff back in way too early. So, found this. Just a cute little um, uh, water bottle for Abby. And it, just, it does have like with a straw where she can sip it from a straw. Or I think if you take the straw out, you know, drink it like that. Um, just a cute little water bottle. I just about got one that had, it was taller. Um, but it had like Disney princesses on it. But I was looking at it, and it's like 16 ounces, I think it said, or something like that. And like, she does not need 16 ounces of flavored water because, for the most part, she doesn't drink regular juice. We give her flavored water, and it goes straight through her. So she does not need a 16 ounce bottle. So I think this one is, I think it says 13.2 fluid ounces. So. Yeah, a little bit smaller. And then I also found one of those little wicker baskets that people are hauling all over the place. And I know my boyfriend's kind of, he's, he might be a little upset with me because he is not a fan of wicker. Um, but I thought I wanted to get this to put it on my little cart that's in the bathroom so that I can put, like say my watch band, like my my watches or just other little stuff in um so yeah just a cute little basket and they did have this in a few different colors but i did like the the light blue i mean the the off-white with the uh, the light color so really pretty that's all of that bag <laughs> i'm trying not to spill my candy y'all spill my candy because once you open it you can't close it. Touch it. And shift all those. Shift all that. Shift all those. Um Oh no, I did just pick up one. I was thinking I had picked up two because um, I picked her up two, like, two of these last time. But I did find Abby also um, this little Daisy Duck, um, the little mini figurine. She already has the Minnie Mouse one and the Pluto one. Um, but I saw that they had the Minnie Mouse this time, so I picked her one up. And then the rest of this is iced coffee. <laughs> Um, they had the Victor Allen's iced uh, lattes that, I love these things guys, these are perfect for just grabbing and going in the mornings, like if I, like if I don't have time to drink my coffee, or if I've had my coffee but it wasn't enough, keep these in the fridge, pick one up, and even, even not even in the fridge, like even without being cold, these are still good. Um, so I got two of the mocha. I think I still have one left in the fridge right now. Two mochas, but I don't remember if it's caramel or mocha. Um, and I got two caramels. Two caramels. Um, and they did have vanilla, so I got two of the vanillas. And they did actually have one of the Christmas flavors. It was like a little bit of a smaller can. Um, it was the size of a can, the one I'm about to show you. Um, but it was like peppermint mocha, and I'm not a fan of peppermint, so did not pick that one up. But they had this one can of this one right here, and so I grabbed it, because it was the last can. And it is Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It's another Victor Allen, but it's Cinnamon Toast Crunch Iced Coffee. Now my boyfriend is a Cinnamon Toast Crunch person. He loves Cinnamon Toast Crunch. 
Um, but I feel like this is more of a cinnamon sugar flavored iced coffee in general. So I thought this would be really good. And as you can see, it's a little bit smaller than the other can. So it's a little bit smaller. This one, this is an eight ounce and these are 11 ounces. So if they had had more, <laughs> I would have gotten more. Um, but this was literally the last can they had of this. So, but that is gonna do it guys. That is gonna do it for me. I get all this stuff back in there. So yeah, that's gonna be it guys. Sorry for the um the change in change in viewpoint. Um like I said my phone I had it sitting up in the window on top of my dash um in a special holder that I have. But with the heat and the sun coming in through the window it made the phone start overheating. So my phone decided, yeah, I'm not doing anything else until I cool down. So that's why I had to kind of move y'all a little bit. And hopefully the air conditioner blowing on y'all from behind hasn't been too much. And if it's if it's been distracting, I apologize. But that's going to do it, guys. Um, hope you saw something that you liked in this haul. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you saw anything in my Dollar Tree haul that you liked, um, like maybe these Amos's, go out to your local Dollar Tree and see if they have them. Um, the thing with Dollar Tree, though, is not every Dollar Tree has the same things. I don't know why, but it seems to vary from store to store what their selection is. So, um, but yeah, just go look, go see what you can find. It's always, that's why Dollar Tree hauls, I think, are so popular, because people find things at one store that somebody else might not get at their store. So, but I am going to probably see if I have time to stop by another Dollar Tree on my way home and see if they have the nail glue. If they do, I will let y'all know. But that's going to do it for me, guys. Um, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please be sure to subscribe so that you um, you stick with me and that you see what I have to offer in the future. And please be sure to hit that notification bell to know whenever I post new videos. Um, if you've been looking around my channel, I do uh, I do a lot of Dollar Tree hauls as well as Timu hauls. I do mostly Timu hauls. Now I admit. Um, Dollar Tree hauls, I do all these hauls occasionally, thrift store hauls, as you can see. Um, I just didn't want to do this particular thrift store hauls separately because I knew it wasn't going to be very big. And, um, yeah. So, come join the fun on this channel. Um, and, uh, I'd love to have you. But, uh, I'm going to let y'all go. I got to pick up some groceries for my mom and take them to her. And, um, get her to try these clothes on see if they fit. And hopefully they do because I don't know what her size is right now. Because I know the way her diet's been going and I know she's probably lost weight. Um, she does have a bit of a, a lower belly now. Um, but I don't know. We're going to try the pants on and see. So, okay, yeah. so I did stop at another dollar store um, in a, another small town on the way home from my mom's house. Um... And I did find some nail glue. It's not, I don't think it's the same kind of nail glue that everybody's been talking about. Um, because I have seen a nail glue at the dollar store that's in bottles. But you can tell it's like a brush type nail glue. Brush on type nail glue. Um, but this, uh, but I did find some nail glue in there that was like the regular drop on kind. If I can find it. Oh, uh, where is it at? I know I got some, y'all. There it is. Um, so the kind of nail glue that I found is the Ioni brand. Um, and they actually had um, two kinds. They had, I think these are both literally like the same kind of formula, but one, you have a clear one, and then you have a pink one. So the glue itself is like a, supposed to be like a light pink. So I guess we're going to try this and see how I feel about it. Um, and I also, while I was in the makeup aisle, the makeup and nails and all that good stuff, um, for whatever reason, I decided that I needed to get some clearing peel-off face mask because I really do want to take part in the Mask of Monday thing. I just can't be able to schedule to be able to do a mask Monday every Monday. 
because scheduling of anything on a regular basis is hard for me right now. <laughs> um, so maybe I'll do a mask, um, like a chit chat or something one day. But then we have the mask. Um, this is, if you can't see, it's the Freeman Clearing Peel Off Face Mask. It says Sweet Tea and Lemon. They had a couple other um, kinds too, um, but I just thought this one seemed like a little bit more, like it might smell good. Let's see if it smells good, y'all. Smells pretty good. You can tell. You can smell the lemon. Yeah, kind of. Kind of smells like a like a tea. Yeah, it smells pretty good. So I'm gonna try that. And then of course, to get face mask like this, you gotta get a face mask applicator. So this is a double-ended face mask applicator. They had it in pink and purple, and of course, y'all know me, I had to get purple. Um, I also picked up some, with summer coming up, and especially knowing that we're going to be going to the zoo this weekend, uh, we are driving about two hours to the zoo in Columbia, South Carolina. Um, this coming Saturday. So, especially on when we're going to the zoo, I picked up some of these um, soothing after sun towelettes. And they did have like actual cream in a bottle type version of this, but I thought this would just be easier to keep in my purse. I'll just kind of throw them in there. Keep them in there. And then when I walked in, they had some of this stuff on a like a four way shelf thing. Um, it's just a little small mini spray hand sanitizer. And they also had this and a couple other ones. I think they had lavender and then they had probably aloe, I think, something like that. Um, just in these small tubes. And then they had like the larger size bottles of the spray hand sanitizer. But again, perfect to keep in your purse. Probably need some right now. <laughs> it's blowing back on me, y'all. Sorry. plastic on it still. Anyway, that's, that's the orange. Where did that? That's the orange. Um, and then while I was there, I, I don't know, I was looking at the drink mix stuff, and I did see another kind of drink mix that I didn't see in the other one. Um, I got two boxes of this Sunkiss Orange Peach Mango. I thought that sounded really good. So I got two boxes of that. And I tell y'all, we, we go through some drink mix, y'all. We go through some hella drink mix. Especially my boyfriend. He's the, the water drinker. Um, and guess what, y'all? I found two other gummies that I have seen on Timu. Um, and this is, again, these are both by Amos. Um, this is the 4D Gummy Dinosaurs. Because I was actually wanting to get some of these for Abby because she loves dinosaurs. But I found them in store. So, if you're interested in trying any of these Amos gummy candies, go check your dollar store first. And then they've also had gummy blocks. Also found those. Now, I don't know if the ones on Timu are in these boxes like this, but I have seen the gummy blocks on Timu as well. So, yeah. And I'm not going to be trying these. So, but... Oh, and one more thing. Sorry. I had put put it in my purse because it's a chocolate bar. And after I left the dollar store, I went and picked up a few groceries from the grocery store that's right next to it. And this is the dark chocolate raspberry cream build. I thought that sounded so good. I love a raspberry flavor. Actual raspberries, not so much. But I love a raspberry flavor. So and I love and I like dark chocolate too. So landmark confections. Dark chocolate raspberry cream filled. That just sounds so good. That's that sounds like something I can't wait to dive into for my midnight snack tonight. <laughs> so, but yeah, that's the second dollar store. Um, found some nail glue. I'm not sure if that's the nail glue I'm supposed to be looking for, but I found some nail glue at the dollar store. So we're gonna test it out at one day. One day, um, I may test it out on some nails. I might do my nails tonight and test it out. Um, and if it works good, maybe then I will use it to give you guys a tutorial next time. So, that's it. I'm going to officially let y'all go. 
for real this time. And I'll see you guys again real soon. Bye for now.